Good morning. As you can see, I'm a violinist, but also a writer. And both of the disciplines, they both come from the same place, place a solitary one. I'm sheltered from the rest of the world and the noise of all the, the world. I'm sheltered from the outside world. It's, it's an encounter, it's like a collision. And within that, we metamorphosize and we transform our inner lives. Metamorphosis is a sudden or continual or perpetual transformation. It implies some material there initially. This primary material is transformed from one state to another. It protects you from change. It protects you from contamination and protects you from decomposition. To illustrate what I've just said, I'm going to tell you a story. In 1923, Franz Kafka was, 20, was 40 years old. He was unwell and he wasn't happy with what he'd written. He'd lost his source of inspiration. He took a daily walk in Berlin and he came across a little girl who was crying. He asked her why she was so upset. She said that she'd lost her doll. They looked for it together in vain. That very evening, Kafka wrote a letter to that little girl from her, from her doll. He gave it to her the next day. He told her he'd gone off on a trip. The doll had gone around the world, and while waiting for her, she should write to the doll every day. The writer, through his letters, found his inspiration again, and also his, his, his smile as well. And one day he gave the girl a, a new doll and told her she was back. And the girl was surprised because the doll didn't look anything like the doll that she'd lost. The writer told her that the, the voyage had transformed her, changed her. Even if in appearance she seemed changed, she was still the same. The little girl believed him. It was her. She found, she'd found her doll. Years later, well after Kafka's death, the, the girl had grew up to become a woman. She found a few words inside the doll. Everything that you love will probably be lost. But at the end, love will return. Love will return in a different way. End of the quote. Losing is also allowing space for transformation. It's leaving space for metamorphosis, for the encounter, for that which is unexpected, but also that which remains the same and unchanging, love. Yes, so with, with the girl's doll and, and, and the, the writer, well, I'm changed as well. We see daily examples of this. The violin belongs to the body. I started to play at five, five years old. It was a, it was a game then. But I very quickly realized that what I could express with a violin, I couldn't find anywhere else. The violin really becomes an extension of my, my limbs. It's difficult playing an instrument. An instrument is both an ally and an adversary. That's what's difficult about it. All the fingers, your whole body and skeleton have to work together to interpret a sound or produce a sound. You need to serve the composer. You're there to act, but you're actually there to face yourself. You learn a technique, but actually it's there of the, the music itself. The instrument becomes body. You're only transmitting thoughts. But music is transformed by the interpretation of the violinist. The body as instrument is, is both a rece receiver and an emitter. When it comes to writing, the, the body doesn't really come into it, but it's the same process actually as, as playing music. Dans cette partie indemne de soi, où tout est possible, s'ouvre à nous. 
There are, there are all these possibilities that open up to you, freedom of thought, freedom of expression. In this intimate space, you're able to um, enter this inner self. Virginia Woolf talked about this, this place of creativity. There's this space in us which shelters us from the tumult of everyday life. Some people call this the soul, but above and beyond the soul. This is the source of the source of life itself. It's, there's this bubbling up. It's a source of desire. It's a source of our intellectual inspiration. It's a source of our tortuous journeys. Work of art is therefore the product of metamorphosis. It's a crystallization. It's a wonderful expression of this. It, 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 it leaves a trace in our imagination and in our hearts. It transports us and we transmit it. It drives us and nourishes us. So let's cultivate ourselves. Let's open ourselves to a society where there is place for metamorphosis, where, where we experience beauty, where all of us can listen and, and to take the time, allow ourselves to transform ourselves, to leave space. Let us experience moments intimate mo moments which are universal. Du bac. Bark. 